Little known fact, we had a blast driving a Lucid last week, and when we went to check them out, we also went to our annual event called Holly High Voltage. If you don't know what that is, it's an event catering to everything electric, because whether you like it or not, that's exactly what's being forced upon you. I mean, that's where things are going. It's an event that gathers every electric vehicle, not just Teslas, and literally takes over some of a raceway for the track, drag strip, autocross, car show, and everything else. Some of the coolest EV builds show up there for people to see, including this perspective of how big an actual cyber quad is next to a little kid's one. Anyways, there was a car that caught my attention, mainly because it's pretty much the length of a semi truck and trailer, but also because it's the kind of car you don't expect to see with only batteries. It sure is to make some old person very, very upset. Let's check this thing out. Mm. A confident sounding door. They don't make doors like that anymore. No, they, they certainly they don't. They really don't. Take your purpose. Who are you? What's going on here? Oh, no, you don't need to clap. Okay, we don't do that. What do you, what do you think don't we're professional? <laughs> My bad. I'm just yeah. trying to be part of here, this. Here, you want to clap now? Says back 45 minutes, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> see, see how much more confident his clap was? Mine had a sloppy finger. Yours was like yeah, a golf clap. No, I felt damp. it. Are you nervous? You're clammy. You can tell. Yeah. I'm dirty you're from clammy. a hard day's work. Is what what, what did you do wow. today? It was so hard. Selling. That's I don't a, know. That's, that's, a, pretty right. that's a, pretty, a pretty white hat for some of the world. Yeah, yeah. Right. I was going to say, those shoes don't say. Let's see. I don't know those about are, that. Those are your mom's <laughs> tennis shoes. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Rob Ward. I'm uh, CEO and founder of Legacy EV. Nice. Um, yeah, this car, I'm a caddy guy. Love caddies. My, my grandfather uh, was a caddy guy, and I think I inherited that from him. This one I picked up uh, way before we even started Legacy. Bought it from... Tito Ortiz's brother in Las Vegas. You guys do anything nefarious together? No. Anything illegal? No, I mean, they're... It's not that kind of... <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. sorry. I was trying to score something. But yeah, tired motor. It was ready for a change. And, you know, it started Legacy EV back in 2019. And um, this just became the vehicle that I was like... I wanted to do a triple Hyper 9 system. I hadn't seen one done yet. Okay. So we're all about trying to, you know do new prototypes, grab new products, try them out. So most builds we do, we're, we're looking to do something new for us. Right. And at the time, that's what this was. was so why you decided to go with the triple hyper nines as opposed to just two? We were pretty deep into net gain at that point, yeah. and I just knew it hadn't been done. Yeah. I was like, can we do four? And they're like, yeah. So we, we just we went with three. Why not 17? So another part of it would be the, the horsepower torque. That put it at right. you know, about 400 horse, 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. Had some one-off custom wheels made for it, interior. That's it. Look at that. Don't touch that. I mean, it's that's, cool, but it's you, amazing. you should have asked for Oh, us. sorry. Can I touch that? You can touch okay, that. Thank you. Well, I played drums at church. That's the that's the decibel level they wanted us to keep. You play drums at church? Yeah. You know, these full of surprises yeah, here. I, I, I didn't expect it with these shoes and hat and this so. car. Didn't think so. Not it's a, a church stain, drummer. Not a stain on those shoes. Not a stain. Not he a worked stain hard, though, today. I worked hard. You worked hard today. Those capris? Those capris. Those are little lemon uh, yoga pants. The know? fact that you could call out the name of my pants was... Well... <laughs> I, I'm just saying. Listen, a fisherman <laughs> sees another fisherman yeah, from afar, and <laughs> I, I have yeah, have those same I have those pants yeah. for yoga, so oh, that's, that's enough. That's why you didn't make one of the pants. <laughs> I yeah, didn't make one of them. No, I, I complimented them. Wear, yeah. The shoes, however. Yeah. At least you didn't call them my leggings. I have a buddy who's yeah. like, you're wearing your leggings yeah, again. <laughs> well, they're, they're not that <laughs> tight. They're not that tight. Yeah. Not that tight. So more importantly, as everybody really wants to see, is now let's talk about fashion, but look at this. So what's in here? The controllers, batteries? That's one of the two battery boxes. Mm -hmm. So there's a battery box here and then there's one where the uh, gas tank used to be. I mean, it looks like a birthday cake. <laughs> it really it's delicious. <laughs> it's it's yeah, delicious. It does, yeah. Oh, like a red velvet. Yeah, yeah like oh, a velvet red cake. velvet. Yeah, that's awesome. We should get some of that after this. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I never knew this, forgive my ignorance. I didn't know there was ducks here. <laughs> you know how many times that's been brought up? I, I didn't Multiple know there were ducks times. there. Yeah, well, no I mean, idea. how often do you see one blown up this yeah, big? I mean, you never. This do. is literally like. What, what, what are the ducks? I don't know the ducks for that. Merlets, commonly known as the ducks, these birds appear in trios symbolize the Holy Trinity, with three on one side representing the nobility of the mother's lineage and others representing the father's noble lineage. That's kind of boring. So what, what's in this battery box since we can't really, yeah. we can so, guess. Yeah. Between this one and the other one, we have a total of 55 kilowatt hours. Nice. Sure. How come your buddy didn't paint this yeah. to make it look like a cake? <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh, so the restoration also continued to the inside. Yep. Awesome interior. Everything is here is pretty much stock with the exception of heated seats, custom molded kick panels. That is mother of pearl, Richard. 
That is the finest of fine right there. And what does this thing do? Delay? That is for your cruise control. Okay. Yeah. What was the first year for cruise control? Anyone? 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 Bueller? I don't know. This car is fun and enjoyable to drive. And there's no Netflix in it. There's no games. No. And you still enjoy this thing? I love it. This is awesome. It's therapeutic. This is cool. Now, are these original seats? Yeah. Just re -phone. This This looks great. Um, speaking of this, we should probably do the seats in the Z06. There's a way to do that. Uh, so this is clearly not the Z06. It's not. This is actually... I called her. This is Uncle Hollis's Porsche. I'm gonna silence for Uncle Hollis. Great Uncle Hollis, rest in peace. So, Clyde's four-step reconditioning process consists of guess how many steps? Four. Four. Holy yes. crap. Yes, pretty crazy, huh? Uh, you have to do cleaning, absorbency testing, also the recoloring and conditioning. So. These are the steps right here. Yeah, right? no, unfortunately, Great Uncle Hollis's seats are... Uh, They're not in the greatest of condition. You know, they say black don't crack. I think it only applies to... Yeah. Yeah, so first we have to clean the leather, and the foam is gonna soak into the leather pores and elevate any grime and dust and prepare the leather for application. Mm. Use the leather cleaning foam first. It soaks into the leather pores and elevates any grime. Thank you massage. Wow. I'm pretending it's something else. Mm. It's worth noting, this is a Porsche, so obviously the leather is very absorbent and supple. Some will need a deglazing solution, which will strip the leather of its original finish and allow the balm to be applied successfully. There you go, look at this. So, sponge. Dab it in. Just a little bit of color. A little bit of color. You having a Bob Ross moment right now? Because we don't make mistakes here. We have happy accidents. Hmm. Very quickly, you learn to work with anything that happens. 11 minutes later. Look at that, so clean. This is uh, over 50 years old. That's right? supple. Look how supple that leather is. Isn't that supple, Stephen? Keep using that word. What else do you know is supple? That steel bomb prevents color transfer and also makes the leather nice, soft, and supple. My favorite part about this, Stephen. No transfer. What? Like Amazing, magic. Isn't it? Amazing, look at it. 24 hours later. Look, look at the clean. seat, though. Totally clean. Look at this seat. It looks awesome. Dude. It's pretty good, man. Uncle Hollis would be proud. Yeah. Again. Rest in peace. Big guy. How are you not satisfied with this? This looks really look good. At this, look at the seat. This you know what this would cost to have this done? At least 800. All day. Crazy, right? Call Clyde's. Save some money. Call Clyde's. Click the link down below in the description box. These cars, I don't think you get as many haters as if you take like some Mopar, mm -hmm. but, you know, when you think right. about the, the passionate right. uh, muscle car. Sure they, they don't Talking like to it. you, Kevin. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Mr. Mopar, man. Yeah. Nice quiet ass ride. Look at this point of view. The others. Woo. Oh, oh, how how long this foot is? This foot is like a ten miles long. What's that? Yeah, right. It's like a Cadillac. Look at you getting comfy. Kind of, yeah, I'm getting He's comfy. Sofa boy. Yeah, this is nice. What do you, you need a strip off? I might be up on the dash. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> like, I feel like... Yeah. There's, there's no fewer than six the ashtrays. Size of that ashtray. Yeah, there's no fewer than six of them in this Dude, car. This is awesome, man. This is great. Not that you'd ever... I mean, this... I would not smoke in here. So, the car itself is... 224 inches long. Mm -hmm. That's like what? Let's do the math. 18 feet. Who's got it? Yeah. 18 feet, 8 inches. Her, her just like, yeah. okay, 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 okay. I'm not checking my Instagram. Oh, wow. Wow. It's so popular. What is it? 200? 228? 224 inches. Yeah. So it means 18 feet, 8 inches. Yep. And, uh, yep. We are about, what are we? Just, just under 7,000 pounds. Wow. wow. So we did add a little bit of weight. Yeah. So, what was the original car? Weight-wise, yeah. was five low fives. Five okay. Two. 
tell us about this beast. Tell us all about this thing. So this is a very inexpensive truck, I can tell. Yes. You didn't spend a lot of money on this at all. I did not, but I see some of the things you have in this truck yeah. that are a lot of money. Yes. Tell us more about that. Okay, so we dubbed her the Hillbilly Deluxe. Okay. I'm from Oklahoma and the boys, they give me a hard time. I wear cowboy boots, I wear my big belt buckle, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? You know, and this is not Wait, for that, show. Is that a rodeo belt? Yeah, I, I broke my hand uh, when I was 50 years old, man, I broke the bone. First bone I ever broke, I broke my hand bull riding. Really? So these guys, so they give me a hard time of being, you know, like hillbilly and country and all yeah, that yeah. stuff, right? So when I started building my truck, he was like, man, we can do this, we can do this. No, my <laughs> truck is not going to sit, it has to sit level. Yeah. I'm from the country. No, no squat? No, nah, no okay. Carolina squat, squat for me. Okay, right? all right. And so, you know, so we went through all this stuff and he's like, man, you are such a hillbilly. I was like, yeah. well, yeah, and I'm building the, my hillbilly the deluxe. deluxe. And it just, it, just it stuck. stuck. Yeah. Right? And now, whenever we're talking about it, is you know, she, her, the HBD, you know, right. hillbilly deluxe. Yeah. So, to, and long story short, I found this truck in Texas. Okay. My sister had a friend, he had like 10 of these, and he's like, well, this is the one you want. I was like, well, no, 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 I don't want that one because I don't care about the motor. Right. And he didn't get it. It, it, you know, I mean, he's a, a gasoline guy, right. and he's like, no, 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 you want the best engine you want running the four, gear. You want the 454 yeah, and I was like, no. Yeah. Matter of fact, you can have the motor. I don't even want it. Right. And he's like, what? Oh, okay. Well, so he sells me this truck for fifteen hundred dollars. Mm. Fifteen hundred. So we get mm. home. Yeah. I towed this in Texas. Any rust on it? No rust. Any Look rust. at this. Yeah. See that? Yeah. That is the only, only spot of cancer in front of this whole truck. You know what's funny? Do you know what in, in the Northeast? Yeah, how much a square body with no rust goes for? A lot more than 500 bucks. A lot more. I got to got to California. Yeah. Pulled the running gear out. Sold it for thirteen hundred dollars. Really? Nice. Motor transmission. What motor was it? Nice. It, it was a three fifty. So we're two hundred dollars into the truck. Right. And then Eddie B and I we started talking about what we're gonna do here and all this stuff, right? And so like, well, you know what the idea? We're building the sixty five Mustang. Right. The Doc Doctor Seven Thirty Three. And that's like a really high-end build. And right. you know, it's gonna be a lot more money than the average person makes in a year in that build. Right. So he's like, well, I got an idea. Why don't we build something that anybody can build? Right. So a working man on a working man's salary, you know, can build this truck. I like that. You know, and that's that's it, what we did. You know, a lot of the issues for EV conversions, they're very cost prohibitive. Yes. A lot of them are. So yeah. when you have something like this, you start off with a nicer truck, maybe like a newer F-150, and you want to make it electric, you could be 50 grand in before you even start the conversion. Yes. In a lot of cases. And Absolutely. This, and this has just as much utility as anything else. It's an eight-foot bed. Yeah. This is good. Well, I mean, actually, I think you may have seen us 20 minutes ago. Right. I was towing the little giant. You were. I was towing a, tra uh, towing a truck and trailer this, yeah. with this truck. This, yeah, this is amazing. Yeah. This is cool. All right, so let's see what's inside of it. All right, yeah. What, what powers this thing? Immediately, I don't really see much going on in the hood. I'm going to say, yeah. this is a total void right yeah, now. that's amazing. Yeah. You can have so storage under here. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So what you see here is the Revolt system yes. crate motor. Yep. It's the CR43 Bravo. That's a crate motor from Revolt Systems. Mm -hmm. So what Revolt has done is just like everybody else, we start with a Tesla core. Yep. But the difference is everybody else uses their motor and they mount it transverse. You gotta have a transaxle and yes. you know, and generally it's back there on the back end of the truck. Yes. Well, most of the guys, people like me, you know, you want to embrace the, the modern culture and, yep. and you know, and, the, and Long, modern technology, but I don't want to destroy the vehicle that I'm putting it in because I drive for a reason. Right. Well, this allows you to put it right between the frame rails, yes. just like you would an LS yes. swap. Yes, exactly. You want it longitudinally mounted yeah. with a shaft. That is so clean. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that, and that's one of the beauties of, that's probably the main thing with this. Now, number right. two, if you look at that, there's nothing out there, a kit. Yeah. There's no kit out there that's complete. No. This is complete, minus batteries. And people ask me about that, and I tell them straight up, hey, yep. if I sold you a blown LS, I wouldn't sell you gas. No. And that kind of, you know, it quiets I mean, you down. nice, but yeah, right. no. Yeah. yeah, right. So that's the beauty of it is, one, it looks good between the frame rails of a rusty truck. It looks very good. It looks good between the frame rails of a $100,000 bill. Here's what people don't realize. The trade-off is I got rid of everything under the hood. Right. No accessories, right. No nothing that drives with a belt. Those, those I got rid of the leaf harnesses. springs, right. got rid of the wiring harness, got rid of two gas tanks out mm -hmm. of this truck, yep. right? And you know, got rid of the old radiator and went in lieu of an aluminum one. Right. So we saved- And even this rig is overkill. Oh, this, 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 cool, the this yeah. thing will cool four Teslas. Right, absolutely. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, you know, with what we're doing here in drag racing and you know, eh, you can't have it too cool. Right. So maybe overkill. Yeah, maybe necessity. So if you look at this, we started with Dom tubing and now we got a totally adjustable, 
custom four link back here that connects to a quick performance nine inch rear end. That is so impressive. And this is sick. And if you look at there, no, look. <laughs> now, I want to, uh, you know, give props to my guys. Sin Cut Sin, they made all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Eddie B welded it up. And then if you look right here, snow, baby. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that snow on it? Look at that. Yeah. It does, right? So when, you, so when you get run over, like, oh, it's snow struck. Right? Yeah. See, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Avenge me. It was snow. Seats are mounted to the cage. It's all so one unit, one. It's all one unit. So this thing, it's as safe as you're going to get on a race track. So what do you? So what was the goal of this truck? Are you going to leave the exterior the way it is? Are you going to spice it up a little bit, or just kind of leave it as like a? I don't want to say rat rod, but almost like a, yeah. a sleeper in a way. Okay. So my intention was, uh, like I said, I'm from Oklahoma. I was going to paint it crimson and cream. Yeah. But that was down the road. That mm -hmm. was the long term plan. So when we get here, and I saw how well received she was. Yeah. I think this, what you see right here is how she's gonna stay. I like it. Now, I'm gonna add, you know, the power steering and power brakes, and you know, I maybe even do the interior of that. Right. But outside, she's gonna look just like this. Mm. It looks great. Yeah, so I, mean, this, I love it. So this battery pack, yeah. uh, I, I was hearing you guys talk earlier, that is from the salt flat vehicle you guys own, is that correct? Yes, so well, the, the vehicle is actually owned by uh, Team Vesco Racing. Okay. And I'm gonna let Eddie B tell you a little bit about that. Who's, who's Eddie B? Oh, there he is. Hey. hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> so, yeah, this is the same battery pack we used for the little giant to okay, set the so world who, record. Who is Eddie B? I own Revolt Systems. Yes. I'm Eddie B. Oh, I couldn't tell by the hat and yeah. the shirt. I know. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm overdone, right? You don't have right? Revolt yeah, yeah. shoes, yeah, but, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're overbranding. Overbranding. Over over <laughs> 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 shirt yeah. I had. Hello, how do you do, yeah. fellow kids? How do you do, fellow kids? What? I don't know, in my 40s. Really? Uh, yeah. Designed to handle 3,000 watts continuous. I'm oh, sorry, 3,000 amps continuous really? at 400 wow. volts. So we built it out of <laughs> 1,152 prismatic Honda Insight cells mm -hmm. that I tested by myself in a very crude way behind the shop. Figured out how much amperage we could throw each, through each cell, yeah. moved the math up on there, bus bar them together. Uh, Sen can said and helped us out with that. We almost over five thousand dollars just in copper. Just in oh, I believe it. Copper is expensive. Yeah. Right. So we built this battery. It did really well around two large drive units mm -hmm. at a very very high pull rate, C <laughs> rate. What was, your, what was your uh, what was the speed for the vehicle? Uh, 359 was our top speed. Two electric motors, and we're only at 60 percent power. So Has anyone beat that? Not yet. Who's who, what's that like? Yeah. Who wants yeah. to touch that? And it's the amazing. record the record was averaged out between the two days. Yeah and they do over a flying mile. So right. our average between two days was 353.87. Man. Which is a we very solid record. Yeah, that's and amazing. We bumped up the world record by 10 miles an hour and we destroyed the national record that was 314. Um, it's really tough to do that. We were part of a really good team with Team Vesco. They're like one of the best guys on the salt. That's awesome. And we're going back this year with some students uh, mm -hmm. from high school. Right. So we took the, uh, we took the car apart um, had the students kind of rebuild everything, put it mm -hmm. all back together for us again. Right. And that's James Madison High School down in San Diego. A couple of students are involved there. A really good buddy of mine from high school, Omar Sevilla. He's a shop teacher there. Yeah. And he's kind of taking that project on. We want to get the kids involved. We need more youth in the sport. Right. Uh, especially places like Bonneville. Yeah. It's kind of a. Un so it's older. It's an older gentleman sport for sure. Yeah. Eighty have, like, plus is normal. Seventies, like, eighties in there. Yeah. yeah. Seen that's a couple yeah. hundred year old guys. Yeah. That, that well, it's also not an inexpensive sport either to get into. Either. Very. Yeah. And it's, it's tough. It's not cheap. It's brutal. I mean, right here we have a drag strip with yeah. air conditioning around us, toilets. Right. We're on a five mile drag strip. There's there 100 is no, degrees. There's nothing. And the, and the sun, you can't get away from it. It's right. a white substrate. It's right, and then it's bouncing off. Yep. Now my nostrils burn underneath your chin burns. So it's, amazing. it's a brutal place. And yeah. you're doing a five mile drag race at wide open. The, the numbers that we got out of this were insane. I shared right. some things with AEM and a couple other people in, people in the industry. They're like, we've never even seen this kind of stuff. Right. That kind of draw for that long is like, what are you doing? It's like, we are experimenting. This is a very, this is a very stout and capable battery pack. Yep. Sitting at the back of the seemingly very. So you have five grams of copper back here. Yeah. So, so, so if, if anyone is in the area, if you see, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you see this truck. And it's the air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, as so the revolver. Only five grand next to it. Just yeah. take the money. Just take the money. I can't uh, this. It's so quite, quite easy to pull that off, huh? I'm assuming this is fire, fire suppression, right? Correct. Yeah, okay. We did a, a, a halon derivative on that. Okay. Um, basically, just to buy the guy time. 
Right. If these goes up, you know. You yeah, you're not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. it's going to burn down. Right. So just get out of the way. Buy a few seconds and just yeah, class Delta fire. See you later. Right. Yeah. And yeah. tell all the guys out there, too, because this is very new to racing. Right. So when we tech these cars, we have to tech them and actually teach the tech guys. You're actually creating the new, new generation of safety. For Absolutely. Vehicles. And, yeah. and the last thing I want, and the biggest fear for me going to Bonneville last year, especially with this car, mm -hmm. was if we even catch on fire. Right. It's going to be the biggest smudge for EVs. Right. Yeah. Uh, cars catch on fire out there all the time. The gas all the time. Every and day. it's cool. It's like, whoa, it blew up. Every day. We do it. We, we hurt everybody. You're screwing yeah. us for it. Yeah. Absolutely. And yeah. I wanted to make sure that driver safety was number one. Yeah. And then number two, safety and reputation for the industry, not just me as a small company, right. but for everybody. So it was over engineered, over designed. And when we did it, it, we tested, 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 triple tested. The first month we went out, we ran a P100 D pack. Yeah couldn't keep up really oh we that thing just died so we had to build this by hand in about three or four weeks mm -hmm. and get it back out again mm -hmm. and it ran beautifully we were continuously pulling over two and a half thousand amps out of it for about a minute and 20 seconds so this isn't didn't get warm is this this pack isn't going to stay with this truck no this is going to go back into the uh, yeah it'll the go room, back into right? the bottom yeah. of the pack. gotcha so what, what are you going to have in here instead we'll probably do a longer range pack maybe man i mean for daily driving maybe we do like a 90 pack Right. And we're going to build something custom. We got some cells that we're going to play with, I think. So we'll go get a custom pack by 71 kilowatts. Okay. And also a very stout, stiff prismatic pack that right. hits really hard. Mm. We're trying to get away from round cells. Right. Uh, and the prismatics are now getting denser and denser, which is nice. So it allows us to get uh, you know longer range and have the kick. We'll probably put this pack back in here a few times. Yeah. Because it's so strong and stiff. Yeah. And like racing, I think it would be the right one to do. Right. And the thing about this is that there's so much utility here because you have the pack. And you still have a six foot bed, yeah. mind you. Yeah, we still got tons of cheap, uh, let's go. Uh, well, when you saw us towing the, the, the yellow car, I did, yeah. we, had, we had, this thing was full. All the stuff that we brought all weekend yeah. was in here. And we had two guys in here too. And two guys in it, and we took all that stuff out. This, this is amazing. So this it's is, functional. This is cool. And that was really the goal, is to have something cool, something different, mm -hmm. but functional. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah. You guys did an amazing job. Well, thanks, man. Yeah. I appreciate that. It was cool. Yeah. I know you've seen a lot of cars, so that actually means a lot. And I, I heard this from a pretty smart guy the other day. He said the paint are a red V, the same color as the blue. I, I don't know, where, where did that come from? I think actually the, that person changed their mind. Oh? And now it's going to be, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is a great idea. So oh, we got the 3D right. printers. And what we're going to do is put that Revolt logo where it, this would normally be a sun symbol. Right, and the, the, the you know in the in the globe. and this is a Sierra Grande. Well, she's going to say Hillbilly Deluxe mm -hmm. in the Sierra Grande font, and have the Revolt logo in the same font as Hillbilly Deluxe. Yeah, and I think that's a great idea. Every you know, that's a great idea. Right. So I'm I'm digging that, and that's probably where we're going right there. That's cool. Yeah. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, I'm not asking for much for the idea. Just yeah. a little, little donation. Five cent royalty. Oh, yeah. Every time, every time somebody you see, yeah. points out the logo, you'll get a five cent royalty check yeah. in the yeah. mail. He'll yeah. be like, oh, he'll be yeah. like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, and in the month, <laughs> fifteen cents. <laughs> we'll be like, oh, I'm, I'm making it. Rolling. I'm killing it. Right. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, but that's great. He backed off on the gas too. Not the not the gas. Yeah. Oh, oh, that guy's got an electric motor. Yeah.